Thank you all. Thank you to all the media friends from Hyderabad who have made it here. Uh, la one more film after Salar two Telugu. Okay, one more, one more film. Okay. Uh, so last time I was in Hyderabad, I was uh, talking to you about a film in which, which I played the king. You know, I played Varadaraja Manar in Salar. Now I'm talking to you about a film in which I play a slave, Najib from Arjividam. The difference being Varadaraja Manar and Salar is entirely Prashant Neel's imagination. Najib and Arjividam is real life. I don't know how many of you know this, but uh, this is a true life story. Najib is uh, alive and well amongst us today. And uh, the book was written from his first person account of what he went through. Uh, the ordeal he had to suffer in the early 90s when he went to the Gulf in search of a better life. Uh, the book was written by Benny Amin. <clears throat> in 2008, it was published. And immediately it became a smash hit. Like all over Kerala, people were talking only about that one book. And in about one month, all of us, all actors, directors, everybody was like, RDG with them. we have to somehow get the rights, we have to try and make a film. Uh, as Destiny would have it, the one filmmaker who managed to get the rights is Blessy Sir. And as Destiny would have it, Blessy Sir thought I should play Najib. He came to me with the film in 2009. I committed this film in early 2009. So almost 16 years ago, I committed this film. So in 2009 itself, when Blessed Sir told me about the film, his vision was so grand, so big, it was actually impossible to do something like that from Malayalam in 2009. Because that kind of budget and canvas was unthinkable in Malayalam back then. It took us 10 years, it took us 10 years till 2018 to finally be able to start shoot. In those 10 years, fortunately, luckily, a lot of things changed. Cinema evolved. The Malayalam film industry grew exponentially. And although even in 2018 and today, this film is a very, very big uh, financial risk, uh, but we had reached a position where we can now think of doing a film like this. We can dream of doing a film like this. So we started shooting in 2018. And uh, because the character required a physical transformation from the lead protagonist, which I'm playing, uh, we decided to approach it in a way where I will put on a lot of weight. So I put on a lot of weight for the film in the beginning, so that when I lose weight, the change will be very you know, drastic. So in the, in, the, in the love song and all, you'll see, uh, very fat, no, I'm... <laughs> so uh, I put on a lot of weight and we shot the Kerala portions. And in 2019, beginning, we went to Jordan, Vadiram, and we shot the first desert schedule. Then we stopped the shooting for seven months, I think, for me to lose weight. So my goal was to try and lose as much weight as I can. And I don't know, I think I tried so hard that I ended up losing 31 kilos for the film. And uh, early 2020, we went back to Jordan, now to shoot the thin portions. And we started shooting. A few days later, COVID-19 struck and the entire world was shut down. We had to stop shooting. Not only did we have to stop shooting, for almost three months, our entire crew was stuck in the desert, not shooting, not doing anything, not able to come back. Uh, almost three months later, uh, we got a Vande Bharat flight, a repatriation flight back to India, and we came. When we came, at the, came back to India at that time, Blessed Sir and me, we had no idea if we will ever be able to shoot this film again because nobody knew what the other side of the pandemic was. Uh, thankfully, one and a half years later, one and a half years later, we got to regroup. Then we went to Algeria, uh, in the middle of the Sahara Desert. We went to a place called Timimun. And from Timimun, you have to drive uh, a bit into the desert to reach our shooting location. I don't think any film crew has ever been there. And uh, I don't think it is going to be <laughs> easily possible also because it will need uh, one madman like this to actually take a 120 member crew and go to some place like that. Huh? It's like right in the middle of the Sahara Desert. So we shot uh, one big schedule there in Algeria. Then we came back to Jordan and we finished what we could not finish uh, in 2020. Finally, we came back to Kerala and in 2022, we finished some patchwork of the film and in 2022, finally, the journey that started in 2008 
in at least the principal photography came to an end then it was one and a half years of post production we were very very keen that this will be a zero compromise film uh, that we were very sure that not one frame of the film will go through any form of compromise so the post production was a very very diligent process so one and a half years later here we are 2024 finally the film is ready for the world to see what we have created so making the film is one part of it getting the film to the audience is an equally important another part of it so we were very very sure right from 2009 that whenever this film is ready that we have to try and give this film the best possible opportunity to reach audience across the world uh in 2008 2009 there was no pan india by the way so this was before bahubali so no pan india pan india had not been invented uh so we still didn't know how to go about it but finally when the film got uh, ready for release in 2024 luckily i had made a few friends and i cannot thank ravi garu and maitri enough for the trust they have shown me they have shown in blessy sir and they have shown in the film i sent him one message i sent ravi garu one message saying sir this is the most important film of my life and he said it is done sir that is all ravi garu said so uh, thank you maitri thank you ravi garu thank you shashi garu and to all all involved in maitri um, because it is very important that when a film like this is made which is a passion project for pretty much an entire industry that we try and get the best we try and get the market leaders in every region to present the film so much like maitri movies uh, we have hombale uh, distributing the film in karnataka red giant distributing it in tamil nadu and a very good friend of mine anil tarhani distributing it in the northern circuits and of course all major players across the world will be presenting it in every region that is the best we can do and on 28th when you go and see the film do keep in mind that for all the spectacular cinematography and the evocative music and the performances and the production design and blessy's world class filmmaking beyond all that every moment you see on screen is a life that someone actually lived so which is why the film says the goat life every breath is a battle thank you for being here i hope you love the film and i look forward to your support thank you thank you so much prithviraj sir so